Under current Missouri law, there is nothing preventing an employee from being required to join a union. Now, thanks for joining us. I'm Megan Drakus. And I'm Lucas Geisler. ABC 17's Hannah Falcon joins us live after talking with labor experts about the right to work movement. Hannah, Missouri is not a right to work state. Yes, Lucas, all that means is to be a not a right to work state is that we have no law on the books that would prevent union membership from being a condition of working somewhere. Despite a national decline in union membership, there's been no shortage of union activity in mid-Missouri, from strikes to demonstrations to new unions forming. But some don't think unions necessarily have workers' best interests in mind. The right to work laws do not contemplate the notion that you'll be fired from your job if you don't pay dues or fees to a labor union. Uh, that's outrageous, it's wrong, it's un-American. That's where the right to work movement comes in. A movement that aims to create laws guaranteeing no one can be forced to join a union as a condition of employment. 27 states and Guam have right to work laws but not Missouri. That doesn't mean that right to work, the fight for right to work is over in Missouri. In fact, there's there's lots of talk about bringing it back. There was a vote in 2018 to enact a law, but that failed in part thanks to unions lobbying against it. Myself and a lot of other members were a big part of beating it back the second time. Missouri voters have defeated it twice at the ballot box, and we're, we're hopeful that we don't have to do it a third time, but we will if we have to. Most years, at least one Missouri lawmaker introduces a right-to-work bill. This past year, Senator Jason Bean introduced Senate Bill 54, but it did not make it through committee. Hannah, thank you. Nationally, labor union membership decreased from 2021 to 2022, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics.